Welcome back to the original fast food review. I'm John with a J and we challenge you every day in each and every way to bring us or me or whomever's doing the review. Who knows what's going to happen in the future. If it'll be me, two people, three people, never know. Always unpredictable. But we challenge you to bring us faster food than the fastest food on earth. There's nothing faster than the food that we review here. Guaranteed. If you have something, challenge us. Bring it. Want to see it. But getting right to it today, jumping right into the mix of things, we're back to the green foods. Boom! Bang! Pow! I feel like that Batman Robin thing with all that automatopoeia hitting at you hard. Boom! Pang! Pow! Zap! Blammo! Whammo! Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this comes from, and it is zucchini, by the way. Zucchini! Zucchini! Organic, of course when we can, where we can, as often, however we can. Um, again, damn the focus on this camera. It says Lady Moon Farms. I'm super excited about this. I'll get into that in just a second. However, you can bake zucchini. You can saute zucchini. You can, this is a great grilling, grilling food for sure. Get them grill mucks on there because it's really, it's hefty. It holds up on the grill. So for all you veggie grillers out there, zucchini is great. So bake it in a ratatouille or just a, you know, general sheet, you know, tray, cookie tray or something. Put some seasonings on it, a little olive oil, whatever you like. Cut this in half, scoop out maybe a little bit of the middles and make zucchini boats and sail away into flavor town. Is that trademark? That sounds like a Food Network thing. Anyway, let's get serious. So I'm gonna peel the sticker off slowly here. Now, folks, when, you know, this is the ingredient label. <laughs> this is the greatest ingredient label ever because it says nothing on it, which doesn't mean they're being sneaky. It means that this is just freaking zucchini. That's what you want. No additives, preservatives, coloring agents. This is colored beautifully green, Sparkle, it's like metallic green because it's got those little flecks in there of a lighter green. So this is like a, this is a serious paint job right here. Thank you, Mother Nature, for providing uh, this inspirational ride uh, that we're about to get into. So, um, I'm red faced, not because I'm angry, but because it's hot again here in Central Florida and in my car especially. We'll get the air fixed one day. Uh, yeah, sticker. So look up, look up. Lady Moon Farms. Follow them on Instagram. They have some inspiring photos. They're making some produce. I was, I, you know, I thought maybe I had their tomatoes before because the label looked familiar. And I'm like, oh, where's this from? Like California or Antarctica or somewhere really, really far away from Florida. Well, surprisingly enough, they have three farms in Florida, one in Pennsylvania, one in Georgia, and their Instagram is on fire. Check them out, follow them, go to their website, uh, ladymoonfarms.com, and um, get yourself some inspiration. Maybe do a farm tour if you're in any of those areas, if you're close in Pennsylvania or Georgia or one of the three Florida uh, locations, hit them up. But thank you, Whole Foods, for bringing in something as close to home as possible. Um, it, for the last two days and two reviews, Whole Foods has hit it out of the park. So ah, when hope seems to be fleeting most, sometimes it comes back to us in the most gratifying of ways. So thank you, thank you, thank you for having this right around the corner from my house, brought from a farm that's doing some really great things. I read a little bit about um, how they cultivate and what their mission and vision is, and I like it. I did a little bit of research. Do more research. Look up zucchini medicinal uses. Do that with every one of your foods. Carrot, medicinal uses. Apple, medicinal uses. Do it, do it, do it. Learn something. Man, I can't even tell you how many claims that are made on this amazing, you know, provider of green goodness. Like, antioxidants full of nutrients, magnesium, which is great for, you know, calming your nerves and stuff like that. So this thing could even help you maybe, I'm not a doctor, I'm not making any claims, but help you sleep, help you chill out. Um, it says that there's anti, um, what, what, what was it? I don't even remember. There were so many use, oh, good for your eyes. Good for your eye. Look, I mean, it's almost like they're talking to each other right now. Like, yes, we work well together. And so many other things, uh, digestive, uh, lots of claims. Look it up. 
these, you know, some pretty big claims too, which is exciting for me that, wow, this could solve all of our problems. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, you can eat it many, many ways. I love sauteing it. Man, when you saute zucchini, it's just like buttery. Day. It's almost like candy if you do it right. Not too much, not too little, but right in the middle, right down the avenue of yum, yum, yum. Like, ah, uh, it's just so just succulent, savory. I like it a lot. All right, so bite off the end. Give them a fair shot. We're going to get right in the middle. Okay. They make zucchini noodles out of this. They have the noodle making machine if you want like a, a veggie pasta of sorts. I've had it. Really good. Used to make raw um, lasagna too. All right, let's talk about this. <laughs> I'm spraying it all over the phone. Lady Moon Farms. Oh, a little something, a little extra there, a little extra nutrient or mineral. Yeah, all right, all right. Not great. But I got to show you the close-up because that's what we do in the fast food reviews or what they do in their fast food reviews. Yeah. Mm. Hello, Caboose. So, right, let's talk about it. Cut it up, dice it up, put it on a salad, man. This is sweeter than a cucumber, folks. And people are like, raw zucchini? Is he eating a raw zucchini? Yeah, this could be lunch right here, man. I did a cucumber the other day. It was one of those long English cucumbers. That would have been a satisfying lunch all in and over by itself. This right here, I'm feeling the same thing. I've only taken a few bites. I'm almost halfway through it. Hey, pouring a little ranch dressing on it. My tumbo says no. No salt, no olive oil and vinegar. I think that's bad. Be careful with your salt too. That white table salt stuff you see in some restaurants and whatnot, that's not good. It's like what it's like white poison. Like use pink Himalayan or some quality sea salt. Find out how it's mined or produced, processed, whatever. Get into your food. Read the labels. Do the research. It's going into your body, man. Look, you can't see it right now. That is a gout deposit, a toffee deposit. I have them all over my body because I didn't do that when I was younger, so I'm just trying to share with you. This comes from pain and experience. If you can't translate or pronounce something on a label, probabilities are your body can't either. That's from my heart to yours, folks. Please remember that. So I had to learn it the very, very hard and painful way. Anyway, it's sweet. It's not mushy, it's not hard, it's not like extra crunchy, but it's alive. Oh, it feels good, man. It's silky, it slides down. I can see why it, the internet told me it aids in digestion. It feels like it's a coating to aid in the digestive process. Like, that's how I connect with it, really paying attention to it. Filled with fiber. All right, we'll wrap this up. It's getting way too long. Holy crap. I told you I was excited. So go to Lady Moon Farms. Not Lazy Moon. That's the pizza place. If I said that earlier on accident, I'm sorry. I didn't. What? But they have some fun pizza. And they do vegan options. Really, really big pizzas, too, in Orlando. But this is Lady. Lady. Lady Moon Farms. Organic. We'll see you guys next time. From my heart to yours. Fastest food on the planet. Go get you some. What up? What up? What up? Let's get down.